kind of here. It's a privilege to be a musician and offer whatever little joy to your, you know, to your friends, even if you just know jingle bells. Everybody will start smiling, right? You don't need to be, uh, to play, to bring joy to the people, you know. This is what I learned, you know. You can come here with, I don't know, you know, even this one. That's good, you know, that's good. It's, it's good for my pride, for my ego, right? But guess what? People, where do they smile? Hello, everyone. I am Liana with Music Academy International. And today's video is gonna be somehow different than all the others. We're gonna have a talk about smiling. <laughs> Not piano, smiling. Smokey is here, keeping me company, smiling and make me smiling all the time and all the time. And I'm gonna talk about a little story about me. Um, and I'm going to start with this statement. Listen, if I would, I did so many things in my life, so many, I lived through drastical, drastical changes. And I'm going to tell you more, uh, in my life, meaning the, uh, uh, collapse of a communist system, totally collapse, not doing music for five years doing whatever I could do just to have some money, inflation 300% a year, <laughs> then coming on the United States and, um, you know, going on a cruise line. Oh my God, it just was, you know, and then moving permanently here for whatever, the last 20 something years. I know this is the point. This is my statement, finally. Um, um, I don't regret absolutely nothing from whatever I did. I, I'm telling you, always I did the best and I don't regret a thing. Not even one single thing. I cannot go and regret anything. Whatever I'm not quite okay with it is like um, I wasn't that happy. <laughs> How the heck to be happy when an entire system is collapsing? <laughs> Well, with experience and wisdom of the age, <laughs> right? It comes more understanding and lightness of the everything I will do. So right now let's go to the piano, you know, because this is relating with the piano. Piano, it's not an easy instrument. It's not, you know. I'm always saying, oh, it's not a big deal. Do this and this and this and it's just going to click. Well, it could or it could not, you know, and involves a lot of self-discipline, a lot of focus, a lot of encouragement. You can have ups and downs and downs and up and downs and ups or something like that, you know, um, but, <laughs> but, you know, pushing with frustrations and, I don't know, this stiffness, you know, to learn something, it's not going to bring you it will bring you results, but not the highest results that you can do it. <laughs> That's my point. With frustration and pushing it and pushing it and pushing it over, you know. So first of all, you're going to get tense playing it. And second, the results are coming in much longer time that you would do it with easiness. So even though allowing yourself and a knowledge, well, that's not an easy thing to do, but think it lightly. I'm, I'm always smiling and always smiling and having fun of it because I trained myself to do this. I was not that fun whatever years ago. And I'm a very, very serious person in regarding the piano profession in general about life. Though, <laughs> I'm always laughing about everything that um, it doesn't kind of, it doesn't go that well let's put let's put it this way well i didn't know better i'm gonna learn it and redo it better second time 
it's kind of the same when you're playing the piano, right? You make a, a mistake in the shit, you know. Sorry, the language. <laughs> you know, you make a mistake and, right, and then you work through that thing and then you do it over and over and then finally by the, in piano it needs many times to do it. <laughs> in life you make one mistake, say, well, you know, I didn't know better. Second mistake doing the same thing is like, I still need to learn that lesson. <laughs> Third mistake, you should, you, you're just stupid to do it again, I would say. So don't do it. <laughs> don't do it again and again and again. You know, until, but because life, it will come with the opportunity to learn that lesson and you're going to do it over and over and over and over that mistake again and again until you get it. Don't do it. You know, kind of the same in piano. You know, so... Um, this is, you know, so my, my, uh, advice for you in learning this journey in learning the piano is to find the joy in it. It's not easy, you know, but every time you accomplish, you know, so you need to, you need to celebrate every little accomplishment, right? You did the line good. Yes, I did it good. You know, let's repeat that good, you know. And, or you did, you memorize something or whatever goal it is. Make yourself comfortable goals. Don't, don't think, well, I am 50 years old. I just start piano for like three, four years and I want to be uh, playing. I love, I would love to play the ballad by Chopin. I don't think it's going to happen. Or if you are a prodigy, who knows? Maybe you are like Van Gogh, you know, <laughs> or Gauguin that he found his you know, passion later in the, in life, you know, but it's uh, kind of late, you know, so find your goals, you know, little by little, step by step, so you will not be disappointed in yourself, it's not coming as fast as you want, and always smile, you know, it's so important when you start the piano, correct, you know, so this, this advice, again, is for mostly adults, obviously, right, so you're coming from outside world, right? And then you're coming, you know, from your job, day to, you know, day job or something. And you just want to come to the piano, but you are full of other kind of information and you just want to start, you know, doing, you know, take a transition time and start smiling and be grateful for this day and be grateful for whatever that you are alive, actually. And it's a privilege to learn the piano it's a privilege to be a musician and offer whatever little joy to your you know to your friends even if you just know jingle bells everybody will start smiling right you don't need to be uh, to play joy to the people you know this is what I learned you know you can come here with I don't know you know even this one that's good you know that's good it's it's good for my pride for my ego right but guess what people where do they smile here they smiling or smiling or even here right so you don't need to be a uh, highly advanced you know to um, a highly advanced level to create beauty on earth so this is my goal actually this is my goal you know to be an inspiration for you to help you in your you know to guide you in your uh, in this journey in learning to play the piano and then create a better world, you know, this is my legacy and that's what I'm doing, you know. So in general, this, uh, um, this, this channel, it's not easy. It's not easy what I'm doing. It, it's a lot of work, believe me. It, it's a lot of work, not only recording, getting myself ready, uh, everything, lightning, I just bought new microphones are over $300 just to mic this, <laughs> this, and uh, uh, the piano, it's not easy, but my heart is telling me that I'm bringing some 
uh, uh, good quality information to the world and to you and I'm helping you so that means result I'm creating a better world you know so even if you are an intermediate even if you are uh, beginners or late beginners or an advanced you know the main point that I'm saying here don't be frustrated in your journey always look for the good part of whatever you did right so even if you had a bad day and the practice is not that good at least do some finger exercise and be happy for those fingers exercise that they're coming a little tiny bit better than yesterday okay and keep on doing and perseverance you know so this would be my message i did took here some notes that obviously oh i said fake it until you make it <laughs> if you don't want to smile about it fake it until you make it <laughs> it's it's a good one but it does work first it feels um not like it's yourself you know because i did that i did that i will tell you some other time this story about what i fake it until the smile i fake it until i made it <laughs> and right now it's natural right so right what is a mental state is very important usually i don't have a, a script i really don't and i don't edit too much in my information um i go with the flow whatever comes in my mind <laughs> i don't know if you like that or not maybe some people they're saying i'm talking too much or too little uh, i hope the information is good but before i'm talking i'm always taking you know put it down some notes to see you know a uh, good advice to see if you know oh i said here yeah, behavior change uh, and get better when you practice in the right way that's a good one you know um it's like you you put it in a good a good seed in a right spot this is the smile thing you know emotional state it's as important as important as your practice as important same level if you have a not good emotional state the practice it will not be enjoyable and the life is gonna be grumpy grump, grumpy 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 okay good Thank you so much for listening to me. I hope this helped. And obviously, I'm going to see you. I'm having live streaming every Sunday at 6 o'clock. Hopefully, you're going to come and see me. And you're going to address uh, um, questions that I could answer in a spot if I can. If not, I will do another uh, tutorial or video. So, I'm doing this live streaming for you. I did not find any piano youtube channels that they will do every week a live streaming with whatever so i'm putting here myself out because i really have the desire to know you and to help you uh, how to practice and this is my free time that i'm offering to you so please join me or if you don't ask me questions so i will know so you will guide me where i should go with my tutorial and my teaching that's one and obviously if you're new subscribe like the video comment on the video it's very important for youtube algorithm so i can reach more people you know that's 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 why you should comment if you could a little bit at least and and check the playlist obviously the playlist uh there are over 300 there uh videos uh very well organized in chopin in mozart dbc all kind of tutorials you know and all kind of questions about relaxation about memorization how to practice about so on and so forth okay so i'm not gonna keep you longer so see you in the next one in the next tutorial i'm planning to do one about octave this is a very uh challenging one and you should listen if you are a late beginners early intermediate this tutorial it is for you octaves very hard to approach this subject of octaves because they're not easy to do it all right see you in the next one thank you